Hey Saturn Body Jewelry fans, Valerie here, <laughs> shaved head here, um, hello, welcome to fall, uh, doing some vlogs, video logs, probably sounds like an old school term now that I'm getting older, but basically, point of it is, video log, living life, Gotta take my dog for a walk, so let's uh, discuss some of our policies at Siren Body Jewelry while I'm at it. While she gets to enjoy nature and me too. Isn't that the way it should be? Step away from the wind, how about that? Okay. Let's talk about our return policy. We do not accept returns here at Siren Body Jewelry, and would you like to know why? Everybody does. So, bloodborne pathogens, BBP regulations, and for the health and safety of our clients and ourselves, we do not accept any returns. Any. I don't care if uh, you don't like what you ordered, you ordered the wrong size, contact us. You usually talk to me directly, sirenbodyjewelry at gmail.com, or call 320 262-6204 and you'll go directly to me. Please leave a detailed voicemail including your order number and what is going on. Yes, we do not accept returns. That is correct. Yes, we do not accept returns. But for some issues, we offer a significant discount on the purchase of the correct size, length, diameter, whatever you need. We are willing to work with you on that. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us if things aren't, um, if there was a mistake on your end for sizing, we will accommodate. However, along with that, we do offer our measuring magnet, which I will put the link below. Uh, it's on the website, just type in magnet in the search bar, measuring, measuring magnet, and you'll find this, uh, Magnet that you can use on the jewelry you have uh, in currently or that you've taken out to come up with the right size. Otherwise, call us directly, send us some pictures after you order the magnet of your jewelry on it, and we can help you find out what size you may need. So there's that. Our policy on returns, we do not accept them. Please do not send them back, you violate our policy and then we will suggest that you shop elsewhere. Okay, so it's not really something that we need to be opening up. Um, and it just kind of turns into a health and safety issue at this point. So please respect us with that and reach out to us if you have a problem. We're more than happy to help you out within reason, you know? Let's take a break from that drudgery, huh? This nature. And if you have a question pri uh, pr prior to placing your order, please reach out. The easiest way to get hold of us is to call, leave a voicemail, or text uh, with your name and information about what you're trying to do. Don't just call and never call back. Come on, shark. Come. Come on. Good girl. Shipping. Let's go over shipping. We ship every week and all orders that we can ship out. If there's something uh, with your order that's causing a snag or a wood delay, we will email you as long as your email's on file or sometimes we do text if your phone number's on file and let you know what's going on. If we don't hear back from you, we usually hold your order until we hear back just to um, make sure that we give you the appropriate items that you've ordered. And if not, we offer a substitution or a wait time. So we're pretty pretty good at communicating about that. And if we aren't, we will uh, we will know and we'll find out and we'll fix it. We're just human here, not a corporation. We are a very small business with a big heart, so. 
I suppose I shouldn't point my camera over there. What else? If you purchase an upgraded shipping option through the USPS, which we are not, that does not guarantee that your order will ship the day that you place it. Please revisit our policy page. You can scroll down on the website and see our policy page for that, details on that. If you have an issue with your package after we drop it off with the USPS, please call the USPS or go on their website, usps.com, with your tracking number that we provide you and go from there with any inquiries. They are fully responsible to deliver the goods and they usually are very good at finding your package. There's usually not issues with that. Um, you do need to be a little patient with them sometimes, but that's with everything in life, so please be aware of that. Let's talk about something fun. <laughs> Too many rules, right? Proper rules. Mm. One tip, siren tip of the day. Uh, I had septum surgery, so I'm a little bit focused on septum, so here we go again. How about this? Done some septum piercings recently, which is wonderful. I love doing them. They're fun. Be aware that you should make sure you wear disposable masks during this time of the mask time, or at least make sure you have your masks washed and clean every every time, every day. So, because you are healing a nostril piercing, a facial piercing, a septum piercing, anything that your mask covers, lip, nose, septum, cheek or dahlia, I don't know, I suppose the cheek, yeah, mm. snaggages, I hope you don't get too many cheeks right now unless you are not wearing a mask very often. Things like that, just go ahead and make sure that you maintain the cleanliness of your mask for the health and safety of your new piercing and the healing. Uh, the good thing about septums is they take a little less time to heal than cartilage or ear, so about four to six weeks, two, three months, roughly, depending on your own body and how well you take care of it and if you get sick or whatever. I'm gonna say hello. Shark has no piercings. <laughs> Uh, so just the reminder of the mask keep it clean if you can't wash it you don't have time and you're you just can't make time for that buy disposables okay and wear those on the regular if possible try not to use or reuse masks when you have a fresh wound which is technically a puncture wound a piercing okay be smart about that and uh, you'll be great I think that's it I need to go enjoy my walk and I look forward to working with you all on the website. Any questions, go ahead and text them to the phone. I will try to answer. And I'm looking for some more contents questions. I know I have to attend to some belly button piercing question videos yet, so getting on that. Take care till then. Bye.